we bought bots so there are robots for these special sites you pay them there are auto check out units so oh. basically you put 5 6 laptop if you are a layman you are normal doing manual job by the time you enter the your name and your home address the thing would get sold out okay. hi guys i'm sid and i'm veera and welcome to the next episode of the balanced path today we have with us dhruv Okay, let me just start off with this. He's just twenty-two years old, guys. Dhruv just turned twenty-two. Just turned twenty-two, and I honestly thought he was twenty-four. So Dhruv is uh, the what do you call it? He's the paramount of uh, parties and events in not only in Jalandhar but in Punjab, and now he's slowly basically conquering India, and he also has plans to go abroad. Dhruv has been doing an IP called Goat, which is now. He's done fifteen events with it. He has basically, I mean, honestly speaking, I didn't know anything about sneaker culture, and I attended Dhruv's uh, uh, event for the first time. Uh, my first impression was I felt very old. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like okay, आज कल ऐसे कपड़े चलते हैं. And I I saw how people came together for this thing he had created, the street culture. Uh, it was amazing and he's doing great great work his next event is at jaipur and i don't know where he'll go i wish him all the luck dhruv thank you so much for being here it's a pleasure you guys have been an inspiration to jalandhar i've been doing exercise and fitness at your box since i was 18 did a year but basically fond of football so not a gym gym person to be very honest but yes thank you for calling me Course. and it's been pleasure. a pleasure welcome to dhruv uh, we were talking earlier and just for reference it's 11:33 <laughs> and dhruv came in he was like this is very early for me and i was like what <laughs> dhruv i woke up at 6 in the morning and you're saying 11 is early how what time do you usually wake up uh the usual time i wake up is around let's say 12 12:30 because in in my part of the world and my part of the business Yeah, I tried waking up early. Let's say after one year, starting after a year, and most of the people in my field of work, they were like, "Dhruv, don't call so early. <laughs> <laughs> they call after one, one thirty, because everyone is into events. Everyone has some sort of work, so they tend to stay up till three, two, three. And like so, even my schedule is like this now. I wake up at twelve, have breakfast till twelve thirty, have shower one. and after 1:30 i am yet ready on my desk okay now let's start calling everyone oh my god so basically veera just to yes. let you know we can never be part of this culture <laughs> yeah because we sleep at 10:30 we don't sleep at 10:30 okay Please 11 <laughs> but this you have to go until 3 at night to be able to be like a street culture person so no wonder i look so or like in the street. entertainment in or industry in industry so yeah. right that's yeah. right Yeah. So, what time do you usually sleep? Mm, there's there's no usual time. Till the time my friends are up, I am at a party and it goes on. It's four, five, six. There, there's no limit. There's no limit. Mm, there's no, no limit. limit. So, like on a is there a I'm average? Sure uh, on an average, let's say three thirty four is the average time we sleep at. Yeah. Then then it makes sense to wake up. That I, I need a minimum of eight hours of sleep, so that that makes to at least you know that <laughs> I know I need eight hours. Doesn't matter how I'm going to just make sure I get eight hours. Yeah, makes makes sense. Absolutely makes sense. Um, so what's been up, Dhruv? How's life? How what is what is happening? Tell us a little bit about. So life has been a roller coaster lately. Like um, we have done, let's say around thirty plus events from wow. the past one and a half year. That's a lot of mm, events. Like curated a family and a culture of like around twenty five thousand plus people all wow. over India. We've done major cities in India. We have done Delhi. We have done Mumbai. We have done Gujarat, Surat, Ahmedabad, like in Gujarat, Punjab. Obviously, Punjab is our hub. We don't miss out the Punjabi culture at all. And the best, to be very honest, the best culture, the best vibe. comes out in punjab only yeah. because people start drinking at 12 only <laughs> so <laughs> best sales everything is in punjab thank you for liquor, thank you for liquor <laughs> that's that's pretty cool okay uh, so um i just want to know the physical uh, like 
the the fitness aspect like we start the first segment usually is fitness where we start from so tell me a little bit about like i know that you play football for yeah. uh, that's something that you really yeah. are passionate about and enjoy and i think you've been doing uh, uh the same sport since you were in school yes, uh yes. so tell tell us a little bit about football and how you started playing and uh, yeah like so since like let's say since chi- my childhood only i've been playing football on and on and on and on so there used to be a wall uh, in my home like let's say drive mm. so mom dad usually take a power nap around 4 to 6 <laughs> so it's like thak 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 i've been <laughs> playing football with the wall on and on and on so i've been getting scolding since since i was this much so football has been in my life since that time i've played zonal i've played for school i've wow. played for cluster a numerous number of football events and tournaments and on and on but uh, to be very honest the culture the sports community in india is not that much to be very honest people of much higher age group are under 17 taking under 18 through fake ids and everything it's a it's a little setback for us but yeah if if you are not playing professionally then it's a very big exposure also playing with a 25 year old under 18 right. i am 16 right <coughs> so that's a very good competition so they basically so this person will be 25 years old yeah but they are playing under 18 under 18 How? they they make their id is okay. their birth certificate f- oh, fake that's a thing you don't know about it so <laughs> basically i was into athletics also so football right. is still we can say a very fair game according to athletics athletics i can meet a person who's 28 also under 18 and they have such big legs <laughs> to my height <laughs> let, let's say that so athletics is i used to do 800 meters and 100 meter but yeah That's very cool. I didn't know he played professionally, yeah. like zonal and clusters. Very, very, very cool. So I've done a football tournament also last year. Oh yes. For Jalandhar. Oh yes. So that okay. we 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 promote some some culture to the young generation. Thanks to like the turfs and everything in Jalandhar. The time we used to play, like it's not even that that yeah. early. So. but that, there was nothing we used to go to pap and morning at 5 uh, so so school sir used to scold us so you very late it's 5:30 right now <laughs> so but we didn't know how to drive our mom dad used to drop us so we couldn't say a thing Good waking time. up at 4:30 <laughs> and dropping us to pap till 5 is also a very big thing right so now we have turfs we have a lot of practices going on in let like, pims also mm. right right so the culture is being promoted, promoted football yeah. is being promoted mm-hmm. other sports we have table tennis also lawn tennis facilities have opened up basketball has opened up right so it's growing it's slowly growing. and steadily it's mm-hmm. growing right so how many times in a week do you play football uh it's been regular since the turf has opened oh, so uh, almost uh, every day uh five days a week wow. is so i would cool. call it every day only Yeah, that's so, is, so yeah. that's the thing we've been playing on and on and on. What what time do you usually play? After six. After when, six. After six. Whenever the sun the goes sun down. Goes down sure. After that. Makes Because sense. Because it's too humid and it's too hot. hot yeah. When we were playing professionally, that wasn't a thing for us. We were like, we want to play whatever time it is, early morning, late morning, right? Whatever. So uh, so majority of your week. week like 5 days in a week look active so yeah. you basically are doing something physically yeah, physically to uh, stay uh, i started gym also but that's a let the routine is not fixed to be honest i've been traveling here and there and there so in a week i go two days then right. take a break so mostly i am doing all workout only i'm doing regular we i'm doing full a sh- body full body my coach tells me do full body workout first then we can start on one on one thing mm-hmm. by the time i come on one on one thing i'm again traveling, traveling yeah. and then i come back again and then again it's a full body so <laughs> i've been uh, stuck in that loop do you want to build muscle no no no, no not right? not at all i want good stamina and lean muscle So football is perfect then yeah. football, football is, is absolutely perfect no, i feel like uh, your uh, 
I think your uh, work is very demanding. So I think if you can like manage football and uh, also like be up till like three o'clock and That's very uh, cool. yeah, yeah, I think it's absolutely amazing because I think it like requires a lot of endurance. The game requires a lot of endurance, and to. Uh, and I think so does your events. Like you're constantly like that is also see, a lot of See, most of the gymming goes into our event only. Two days prior, we are lifting up hanger stands, we are lifting <laughs> up tables, we are lifting up flexes, because uh, mostly we do events on Saturday or Sunday. Right. Friday night is a very heavy night for clubs. Saturday night is a very heavy night for clubs. So we can't find labor uh, around three a.m. because clubs get free around three. Right. There's a Saturday night going on. The staff is very tired. They feel they want to go home after half an hour. They just do 50% of the stuff and they are out. So now me and my team are the labor who are left. <laughs> so we do all the laboring. Mm-hmm. We put up the stands. We put up all the flexes. We do, okay, this has to be placed here. This has to be... And if the venue is a two-story thing. Oh. oh then that's, then, that's, then, then, that's, then, that's hard. Then that's, that's where you have to lift a, let's say, five kg <laughs> table. Two people going here and there. <laughs> it's very difficult. That is crazy. So, do you think uh, football somehow helps you in uh, your work? Managing I mean, events? <laughs> 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 yes, yes. See, football is a stress master. Right. See, I, I need to take out some, let's say, me time for myself. Right. Otherwise, I am on call only 24-7. The stallholders wake me up till 1 also. They are like, they text me, let's get on a call. Up call kar le, <laughs> uthe ho. So, they are... They they are owning a brand. They mm-hmm. right. they are on work till from one to seven, and after that they need their time, and then they f- get free around twelve. Right. So they call me after that only usually. So it's it's good. I mean, he's talking with so much wisdom. He's like, I yeah. need my me time, and I'm like, I'm looking at him, and I'm like, he's just twenty two years old, <laughs> and I was twenty two. I didn't know these things. Maybe you mm. did, Vida. I did not. You are 22, so you don't know what it is and what it is. Very right. I mean, you can't do the next generation. That is true. The, the, the generation next to me is even oh, more dangerous. No, I think uh, uh, these guys are very, very like... Um, I think you're very... We, we as a generation, I think, are very late. In the sense that... Um, uh, we, we are on time. And the generation coming after me, they are pre-time to be very honest they are right. doing things which i did in 18 19 and they are doing it in 12 13 right. 14 right. Yeah. i mean so. i think it has i think uh, th- but the flip sides of both like both sides of the coin there are good things also and there are things that are not great hmm. uh, but in terms of i feel like uh, organization even work uh, or like even like for example like right now we're talking about fitness like you see like young like younger kids so like and about, about fitness, yeah. doing things again there are kids who are not doing anything but there are kids who are doing everything and mm. doing it absolutely amazingly when and i was 13 14 i so wanted to go to the gym i right. used to live in model town and the, the, there was a new gym uh anytime Any opened time, up yeah. right. like it was one of the first gyms of jalandhar i believe like the starting the gym gym thing like exclusive le- luxury like a, like a brand like yeah. a brand true so I, my mom was like you're not allowed to gym hmm. <laughs> you won't grow tall yeah, 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 yeah. If, if you do weights you won't grow tall uh, you're not allowed to gym so i kept pleasing her pleasing her hmm. and from 13 14 i started gym at 18 so now everyone they don't ask their parents only they th- actually their parents don't know where are they yeah true so right. th- th- there's a new generation they're out only so right. here we used to ask for permissions <laughs> now though we also have started yeah. doing something on our own only <laughs> of course, of course. but yeah the l- newer generation is too into about everything be it right. fitness be everything i see on the top there's a cricket so these are young chaps like like let's say six seven year right. old right. doing a spin ball wow so that's a like the fitness and the sports culture is really growing really growing really and changing growing. absolutely changing like if this child is spinning the ball at four i think that's what the country is going to see in <laughs> next time to, win. <laughs> time to come i can't but still spin <laughs> <I'm> 34 <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> 
टू ओल्ड नाउ बट आई 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 I am glad that statement ki gym jaoge to chote reh jaoge has like it has been like since my generation it has now uh, gone till till my yeah, yeah, yeah. no no aage nahi jayega yeah, yeah i remember that uh, i remember this uh, this statement very clearly even while i was growing up i don't know what time, i probably started going to the gym when i was in grade 11 i think before that i used to do yoga but um yeah like that's when i actually realized that i really like this um uh but before that it was like oh you should not lift weights cuz you'll be shorter like you'll not grow tall and same for vikram but he obviously did not listen but yeah chafed the ho gaya lift weight kar kar ke beta ho gaya but by the way if, uh, uh, just for the record if you do yoga if you had been doing yoga you should have gone today there was yoga na see the cm pagwantaman was you know he was instructing i was not invited what do you know any anybody uh, could he is doing it in uh, P, uh, pap N- yes pap jana so there's a big 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 roads blog and yeah. everything there oh. no people have not mentioned there's a yoga thing every channel has mentioned there's <laughs> roads <laughs> blog <laughs> i had no idea is it is it uh, it's happened it's, it's happened. finished it's not it, yoga day right like it's not world yoga day it is I have I have yeah. seen the heading roads blog so I oh, okay. you just know roads yeah, I just know there's a- some yoga apparently the pm is uh, conducting yoga in the un okay yeah okay and our cm is doing it here oh very very very, very interesting cool. i think very that's cool. good i think uh, fitness is uh, going forward yeah, I mean, exactly. a healthy body will take yeah. uh you forward Agreed. in terms of work and business so why not keep very it healthy well. but dhruv have you ever done yoga Uh, to be very honest i don't like any slow thing okay. no yoga no indoor sports out no reading no reading <laughs> no reading no books hmm. i like to travel that's the key basically right exposure hmm. the exposure you get physically and mentally is not through any book someone is writing in another corner and publishing it If I I've been around the world. I've got seven passport totally filled, and some countries are left. To be very honest, it's Japan very is left, Australia, New Zealand, and Alaska. I believe. Rest we have covered everything. That's amazing. So the exposure and the people and the intellect we get from abroad is basically why I'm doing events. I didn't know I have to start an event. After twelfth, right. I was like, what to do? Right. which my dad has a proper business set up but i never wanted to do something which is very boring as and slow so you uncle. sit in a corner sorry uncle <laughs> <laughs> so just sit in a corner and write off papers listen to people what they're saying build according to them whatever it is. i wanted to do something which is lively keeps me energetic which is fun so i traveled abroad so what people are doing right i went to around 16 to 17 cruises oh so when i when we go to a cruise there's a proper culture which has been made for like 7 to 10 days people children i would say children only even i was a child children from all around the world right they build up a community for that particular 7 to 10 days we listen to their story they listen to our stories we get to know what's the culture what's happening in america as in when sitting in india i would know what's the culture going on in america right now but a person who's telling me that we do this we do this okay uh, i work in a garage so me at the age of 16 listening to a boy who's 15 or 16 saying he's working already really? and in india there's no work culture so right. it it makes a major difference on your mindset that what what's going on actually right so are these specific cruises or these are just normal cruises and then you in- uh, interacted so I, i've i've been to royal caribbean i've been okay, to ncl so, so the luxury cruise ships basically and then you meet these people yeah. across so, so they are coming from all backgrounds right. they come with their family they come with their friends right. and they are, th- these cruises have the uh, let's say a teenage club okay they have two types of club one is under 12 and right. one is from 12 till 19 right so there are two clubs so we enroll in that and they plan all the our schedule throughout the ship they right. take us through 
all the let's say if if we are stopping in let's say netherlands so they'll take us to the famous destinations in mm-hmm. netherlands and everything so we 15 to 20 or 25 people traveling together throughout the week on and off eating and being out till 3 4 parting together so it's a total different experience. different experience very good you you can't get that in india to be from after 15 20 years also i don't believe people will let their children be that give them that freedom because everyone knows from a cruise ship my parents know i won't go anywhere hmm. right P- first of all i'm safe then i am in no wrong hands they won't be serving any sort of alcohol or drugs because i have a particular band and card right so we are totally in a safe and secure environment and the exposure is unbeatable unmatchable so these these international trips that you took um, have they been with family or have you been the, the, individually they have been with family all will have been all family. with family very cool so w- what would you sorry i'm No, go for it. Go for it. What would you like? Let's say there is some person, like you said, traveling is equal to experience, right? You gained all your experience through traveling. What would you recommend for somebody who maybe can't afford to travel? Like, how do you think they could benefit from that exposure of traveling, but without traveling? Uh, see, I'm not a person who would recommend books at all. I am. Mm-hmm. to my mom is a very trying to get him back to books but <laughs> i'm i'm a my mom is a very fine reader uh, right. we have a library she mm-hmm. must have around a 5 to 600 books with her wow and she keeps on underlining them one so that one day if, if 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 i read so i just read the pointers she explains me also some some let's say nichord they say uh-huh. right for some particular books that this meant this i would say the person should read interviews or interactive sessions or watch them on youtube mm-hmm. of a person who's not at that stature not even at the stature who is in his growing mm. period right that yeah. would give him much more benefit because that person who is growing he is not cared about anyone around him so would you say something like podcasting would be beneficial for a person who wants to gain experience totally totally yeah guys on that note make sure you subscribe <laughs> <laughs> oh. boom make sure you subscribe hit the subscribe button guys share it if you're liking this uh, it means a lot to us but yeah podcasting right yes totally. i think because it's i think uh, like minded people come together and share their experiences Agreed. and you it can probably take something out of somebody's experience and learn i think that's what usually i think books do too you are like i'm not advocating so, books <laughs> but i feel like um, uh, but yeah like when you're hearing something it has a deeper impact than prop for some people and visual then and hearing visual gives and you hear- much more impact than a uh, maybe i'll forget what was written the actual quote right. but if someone has said it in a very right way then I'll, it, i'll be remembering that i'll be having a picture and a frame of that person that in some point of life usually right. i listen to lately i've been listening to aman from boat yeah, yeah so course. he's been one of the let's say most motivational i think in india right now yeah. everyone has been following him right so he is not doing it professionally or something like that he goes to everyone's cast interview because he wants to share his own Only experience with, with everyone agreed so i so, think yeah i think uh, honestly for the record i don't like like to read as well but i listen to a lot of audio books watch movies the many motivational movies, movies. last I week only i was seeing this movie on lamborghini hmm. so how he has built from a farmer to a tractor company to a ac and heater company oh. to a automobile company right so you start watch movies which are which are very motivational you remember now i remember how, what all there was no one with him when he wanted to start he wanted to pledge his farming land for a tractor company his family has given up in sands so first thing when you start a business i would say you should have the family on your side hmm. even if you fail yeah you you, you have your parents, parents support or something like that there is a backing absolutely the, you, you you totally need a backing 
I think it's necessary to take risks, but calculated risks because you can't be like, "Nee, it's not good." Because anything can happen. Anything. I mean, we live in a happen. dynamic world, so. Makes sense. I also feel like we live in a world where uh, now, all thanks to the internet, YouTube, any so- sort of media, I feel like everybody's willing to share. Like I think everybody around is happy to share their journeys hmm. of um, reaching or making it somewhere. Uh, I feel like um, uh, you maybe re- relate to this or maybe not relate to this, but um, when we were younger or like a generation before us hmm. or even our parents, like people were very reserved of sharing how they reached that. Yeah, they didn't want to give that formula to other people. To other so people yeah. to succeed. But now everybody is like, well, you know what? there is obviously no hard and fast rule to how you're going to uh conquer or win or um become the become a unicorn mm-hmm. but i'm saying that you can def there are some certain frameworks and one can follow and these are like readily available and i feel like uh, which is the most amazing part like lis- like you said like we were talking about reading or like listening to podcasts or listening to videos informative videos or watching movies i feel like the information is now very readily available yeah. so which is amazing i think we are a generation that is very happy to uh share share, share. and grow together yeah. and work in a direction so that others get empowered with yeah, the same I mean, we we want to go around with the people in nowadays which are something in themselves not a one a we don't want to boost i am this and he's that hmm. i want to be with someone who is already doing something right like right. A, like a mentor like like, like a, a group of people who want to become something in life ahead not i am becoming this in life and you are yes. uh, i don't want you to become right. the, the the frame of mind has changed i think over the past years yeah in my like parents age group or it's not that everyone wants to let each other down but nowadays everyone wants to push each other if, yeah, let's, if, if, let's let's, let's grow, grow t- together grow together as a community if, if i am doing this i know that social media has this boost and you are owning a let's say clothing brand so i can tell you what all to do so that even it grows or xyz brand or whatever it is correct so that makes a whole community absolutely like i for for instance i feel like if you're a brand that you have supported or helped grows ultimately you're also growing, growing with them with it. Yeah. if if he is growing ultimately he'll help me in life or whatever you may call it right it's not about taking a favor or giving a favor it's about like why why not if i have the opportunity to tell him and if it helps the other person why not right right so it so coming back to sport a little bit okay. does this come this mentality come from football because it's a team sport yeah mm-hmm. totally i i i can't do the goal alone i need my defender to do a good pass to a midfielder that that is when he'll be passing the ball to me yes. i that, can't take the whole ball approach. from the goalkeeper and till their goal post that it's it's impossible do you have a favorite team Yeah, Manchester City. I oh, I, I know it's it's <laughs> United for everyone, but I've been I in the <laughs> the other <laughs> oh, side of the, oh, s- side side of of the spectrum. <laughs> so uh, there was a match recently. There's yes. a match. Uh, uh, it was for Champions was... FA Cup final. Yeah. So all my friends are United fans. So I kept a barbecue party at my <laughs> place. I because I knew City was going to win. So I called City all City won really yeah. well. So I called all the United fans and my friends and I'm like let's watch the match together <laughs> and we'll do a barbecue after that. Yeah. So yeah, I knew it was going to win and then they were like no no we're not hungry we're not hungry. <laughs> so I'm on the other side. In life also I'm on the other side. Everyone if everyone wants to go left I'm like no let's do something different. different yeah. Let's go right. Let's let's try something. So, Dhruv, tell me where you said that if everybody wants to go right, you want to go left. Where do you think that comes from? Like, uh, that's a very very <laughs> difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 just uh, what I've been through in life, and I've been a very easy target in school. To be very honest. if i was not part or anywhere near to a deal also 
Wait. So bas- I've become the main character of it. I don't know how and when and how. So it's always like I want to go different. I don't want to be in that hustle hustle. I don't want to do that bhed chal thing. I want to try something new. I, I don't mind if I'm alone or I fail or whatever I do. Uh, right so, so definitely your own you want to have your own identity own identity even when i start i i explain my business to my parents that i want to do a sneaker even so first of all they were like oh, what is a sneaker <laughs> initially when i started reselling <laughs> so i'm like these these uh, sport shoes you wear from nike <laughs> and adidas basically what you guys call kids <laughs> kids kids kids, kids. kids. <laughs> kids. So my mom also said, "Yeah, kids, kids, are, <laughs> kids are the sneakers. And that is a sneaker. Mm-hmm. So then, like, they, you want to sell this? Mm-hmm. मतलब ये क्या चीज़ है? मतलब कौन लेगा? The first shoe I bought was a Yeezy, and that was twenty-two thousand. And I told my dad that this would sell around thirty. And he was like, 'जूता ही पढ़ेंगे, कोई फायदा नहीं. मतलब कौन लेता है? Yeezy मारूं मैं तेरे. कि ये Adidas, Nike के कोई नहीं लेगा. If you buy a branded, maybe everyone is willing to buy these branded. Let's say LV, Gucci. Everyone wants to boost. But Nike, Adidas नहीं लेगा कोई. Waste of time. है. मतलब कुछ और ध्यान लगा. So नहीं का नहीं. When I went to the venue, first venue. Right. So they were like, जूतों की exhibition लगा रहे हो. तो मैंने कहा है कल्चर आएगा धीरे धीरे आएगा अभी नहीं पता एंड नाउ एवरी वन इज डूंग स्नीकर अर्लियर आई यूज टू टेल वॉट इज अकर नाउ एवरी वन इज इन टू अकर क्या एवरीबडी बेसिकली ओन्स अ पेयर ऑफ माइकल जॉर्डन इफ दे आई डोंट फाइ दू गई आई थिंक वे टू आई डोंट Guys, <laughs> so I don't. I recently bought one Travis Scott. That one, that's a Jordan, but that's a collaboration, not right. a real OG pair. I would say I don't have any highs or uh, they're too uncomfortable to be wearing. Oh honest. shit! They should be edited. Leave, <laughs> leave. They are un- uncomfortable. They're, they're because I'm maybe I'm thin and the ankle is. Um, I'm, They are very uncomfortable. Yeezys are very nice. Right. They are very comfortable. Nice. I'm not a big. Per- I'm not big on shoes. They just have to be comfortable, and they need to no, look. No, I'm. I'm a very like simple, basic. Per- fond of shoe guy. Like I own more than thirty, thirty-five pairs. Hmm. But one Yeezy and one Travis, you can say that's it. Rest all are other brands. Normal brands. Normal brands. So Dhruv you said after after the class 12th you decided that you wanted to do something on your own yeah. you know so like did you have different options or was it ke bhai yahi karna hai like explain that say phase uh, phase that phase was see uh, in india college admissions are the hardest like the big deal is beta kaun se college mein ho true kya chal raha hai aajkal like har every everyone used to say ask me क्या करना है लाइफ में सो आई यूज टू से आई वो नो इन्जॉय लाइफ आई यूज टू गेट स्कूल लेंगे ऐसे बड़े पूछ रहे हैं तुम आगे से ये जवाब दे रहे हो दैट इज सो आन एथिक आई यूज टू से आई वो नो इन्जॉय लाइफ अभी आई आई वन थॉट एनी थिंग आई एम डूइंग आई एम बेकिंग अप ओली मतलब क्या करूँगा उठ के कुछ करने को तो है नहीं मतलब आई विल इन्जॉय हाँ मतलब क्या कर सकते हैं सो कॉलेज एडमिशन आई स्टार्टेड डूइंग आई यूज टू डू दिस कोर्स क्रैश कोर्स so to be honest off the record i'm pretty good in logical reasoning i've i've done 6 months of upsc training and everything also oh, for okay. ies ifs sure. i wanted to be an ifs since i was in 5th grade i wanted to be an ambassador i wanted that cd number plate that fascinated i used to travel so i i always dreamed about being an ambassador in a indian ambassador in a country diplomatic passport diplomatic passport and <laughs> there's no need of visa and everything <laughs> it's it's a very cool thing <laughs> so uh, since starting only i wanted to be that hmm. but slowly and gradually i realized that i can't study that much i i know the knowledge maybe i can crack it when my sir used to say they there are people who crack they are like you only they study for 2 hours and they know about 8 hours the person who studying for 8 and you grab that in 2 the these are the people who crack yeah. but i said i 
I don't want to study this much. I don't right. I can't spend 3 years of my life doing one particular thing. I want some zeal. Right. The word I said I need something energy in my life. I don't want a fixed schedule in my life. So college admissions I cracked very good exams and everything. But it being India uh how much donation can you support us? So there was one favorite i won't name it mm-hmm. it was in mumbai so i wanted to go there only right they said we'll take 12 i uh, so there's mumbai campus and there's navi mumbai campus mm. so i got into the navi mumbai campus and they right. were like for mumbai campus you need to s- spend 12 l extra like what is this i got in through your admissions i got in through your interview what's this navi yeah. mumbai and mumbai yeah. you take me through Right. So I was like no I don't want to spend 12. I I'll, I'll put that in my business and maybe where it goes I don't want to waste that 12 for a thing and after that. So I was my I used to say I don't I don't want to go to APJ. Whatever happens in the world I would never go to APJ and I did my BCom financial services from APJ. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's destiny. So right. I used to say no whatever thing you say no to hmm. go and make sure that you do <laughs> that, that. I had that similar uh, I had a similar thing right. but by the way, by the way guys APJ the best college in the world just saying but oh, yeah it now now so it's the best only <laughs> APJ I'd sitting here man you should be very proud of yourself <laughs> so like, I also went to APJ for two two years one year See, two years nobody can handle that pressure it's, it's not about under. being about APJ being in Jalandhar I and going to APJ is a thing for everyone mm. right. but when i thought about it that it's the same it's it's no big deal uh, about anything i think so education is education education so i went through APJ and if i haven't been through APJ i wouldn't have started and i or i wouldn't have been here right so so you you said okay i don't want to go to navi mumbai don't want to go to mumbai either APJ what did you study in APJ Bcom financial services that was the top end course in GND I was like if I'm starting here I'll do the best thing only nice so nice. I did Bcom financial services though it's just simple maths in my business <laughs> but uh, yeah I but maths is maths right? very cool so uske baad then was this uh, anti happened during your college time during my Or college time can you explain like how कैसे सोचा क्या हुआ बहुत लंबी स्टोरी है हम सुनने के लिए बैठे हैं यू नो जलंधर गेडी रूटीन या अ गेडी थिंग लाइक वी डोंट हैव टू डू एनीथिंग यू जस्ट गो टू कॉलेज कॉलेज फिनिश अप एट 1:32 यू टेक लंच यू गो बैक होम एंड होल डे यू हैव गॉट नथिंग टू डू देयर इज नो एक्टिविटीज नथिंग यू जस्ट हैव फुटबॉल और समथिंग लाइक सो वी हैव अ गेडी थिंग इन जलंधर a town that's the speciality we have gedi root also <laughs> <in Canada. laughs> so designated me and my friends gedi gedi all the time gedi so this was in march april april yeah so i used one and a half tank in a week of my car okay and my dad scolded me pretty bad that what's going on it delhi to hai nahi hai ke jo matlab itna tel ka ja raha hai kya matlab itni gedi gediyon pe so i was like kuch apna karna padega life mein aise to ghar walon se to matlab unhe pata they know about my all expenses if i'm taking everything from there no fixed pocket money there's nothing like that like i have to start something on my own so i started this reselling with a friend of mine sneaker reselling what okay. what i told you i copied the yeah. easy and i told it would sell for 30 so we started with one we bought bots so there are robots for these special sites you pay them there are auto checkout units so oh. basically you put 5 6 laptop if you are a layman you are normal doing manual cop by the time you enter the your name and your home address thing would get sold out so starting mein hamare sath aise hota raha फिर हमें समझ आया कि इसके लिए स्पेशल रोबोज हैं ए सी यू यूनिट्स हैं सो वी बॉट दैट वी स्टार्टेड डूइंग कॉप्स एक ही पे सुबह सेवन थर्टी अर्ली मॉर्निंग रूटीन वी यूज टू गेट अप एट सिक्स आई यूज टू गो एट माई फ्रेंड्स प्लेस अराउंड सेवन यूज टू सेट अप सिक्स टू सेवन लैपटॉप्स आर फोन एंड एवरी थिंग सेवन थर्टी द ड्रॉप यूज टू बी मेड एट नाइकी ऑफिशियल साइट 
I used to cop pairs of shoe after 12 to 13 days. Sorry, what is cop? Cop is that I got it. Ah. Ah, okay. Okay. That yeah, your order has been confirmed. ठीक है. बाकी आप आप ट्राई करोगे तो होएगा ही नहीं. Impossible. 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 It's because of the robo. It, by the time you fill your name and home address you don't right. go till the credit card also so what is so it gets sold out so what is this is this a software or is it, this these, a these are uh, unofficial softwares okay the companies try to ban them on and off but the software engineers and the you know the expertise they're too good at it everything so basically for layman like me uh, correct me if i'm wrong as a laptop you put in a software that's actually going to do the buying for you yeah we're going to set a timer for it we're going to fill our credit card credentials in it that otp and everything we're going to fill it right away okay. uh, we're going to set the timer for if the drop is at 730 so 729999.29 seconds so it starts automatically we don't yes. have to do anything do we just have to, we don't even have to punch it enter or it will just start punching automatically uh, by as cool. many as it can acha we can set a limit also hmm. but it's a rare thing so, totally we have thousand shoes all over world so obviously its resale is going to be much higher than the normal thing so we started copying usually dheere 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 and we did let's say 60 70 pairs in 2 3 months 2 months so every time you did the copying was it like a हंड्रेड परसेंट थिंग दैट एक ना एक पैर यू कुड हमेशा मिल हमेशा हमेशा एक ना एक वो रोबो को इतने पैसे दिए है अच्छा कुछ ना कुछ तो यू हैव टू गेट आउट ऑफ इट सो वी हैव दिस स्पेशल एप्स डिस्कॉर्ड यू माइंड पॉडकास्टिंग में भी वी यूज डिस्कॉर्ड सो डिस्कॉर्ड पे वी आर स्पेशल ग्रुप्स ऑल ओवर इंडिया वी आर सिक्स सेवन हंड्रेड पीपल द स्नीक कम्युनिटी द रीसेल हजार then we started shipping these orders to normal person who would buy like a person like you who couldn't cop at at mm. 730 so we used to sell it to you at direct, a premium at a premium let's mm. say the shoe was at 8 we used to sell it to you at 12 so making 4000 out of it per day 4000 is a very decent amount for a person living in jalandhar or a guy like what's what's the expense you go to zoka <laughs> <laughs> maximum what will you spend <laughs> Five friends going maximum. You get two thousand, three thousand per person. Agreed. That's the at most. Yeah. Right. And you can't go outing every day. Mm. But there was a thing. The if you are ordering a pink color, mm. in a picture it would be a different pink. In live it would be a different. Different. Pink. Okay. Then Yeezys they are one size. You should order one size bigger. So if oh. you are wearing a UK eight, so it would fit UK nine. अब ले मैन डजेंट नो दीज मैनी कैलकुलेशन एंड स्टाफ वी स्टार्टेड गेटिंग रिफंड आई डोंट वॉन्ट दिस वी वॉन्ट दिस बैक एज लाइक आई वॉन्ट मेक दिस लाइफ के कुछ ऐसा प्लेटफॉर्म होना चाहिए पर्सन कम्स इन ही सीज इट ही बाइज इट दैट शुड बी दिद इज नो शिपिंग कॉस्ट दर इज नो जी पे डिटेल ही इज नॉट पेइंग एडवांस Uh, I'll pay fifty percent or fifty percent after it comes to me. There are a lot of calculations mm-hmm. in it. Right. So then I came up with the idea of a sneaker event. This never happened in India. It only happened once in Delhi. It was oh, not right. a ticketed event. Right. There were few brands and one two res one reseller, and it was a guest event. Hmm. Hundred or one fifty people all over India. Sneakerhead community was invited. The top influential of Delhi's at a particular cafe for two three hours. That's it. Then I did this for the first time in India. Ticketed event. Hmm. I took stall charges from few brands. Few I gave them free of cost. Being my own, I wanted. Let's see what turns out to be. I went to the venue and he was like, "Jute ka event do." <laughs> कर ही नहीं सकते हो मतलब इट्स अ क्लब के ये नहीं अलाउ है मैं एक्सक्लूसिव होएगा आप टेंशन मेरी गारंटी है सो आई वाज ट्वेंटी एट दैट टाइम सो आई टोल्ड द मैनेजर कीप फुल स्टॉक ऑफ बियर्स वाटर बिकॉज बेवरेज वुड बी द ओनली थिंग दैट वुड बी सेलिंग फूड तो सो ही टूक इट इन अ वेरी लाइट वे आई बिलीव लाइक बीस साल का बच्चा आएगा कितने के लोग आ जाएंगे सौ दो लोग आ जाएगा मैक्सिमम 
Where was this? What this was in Peddlers. Peddlers. First event. First, first mm-hmm. event. Peddlers. That was the most hyped venue of Jalandhar that time. True. Or nothing was happening. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all the Peddlers. Peddlers. No one was not there. I mean, nothing was open. Mm-hmm. Hai. Everything was in Peddlers. So they ch- told me that these charges are. I had a food stall for the food stall. I did a proper buffet. I said that the people who are coming, they come from that background. that they have crores of family backup it's not a person who normal person who's doing a sneaker reselling we are not normal bande ko nahi samajh aa sakti ke jo banda sneaker reselling kar raha hai uska backup itna ke strong hoega tabhi uske paas 20 25 lakh ki shoes ki inventory hai wo sirf uska time pass hai koi proper business nahi hai so i personally did menu दाल मखनी आई वॉन्ट आई वॉन्ट बाटर चिकन आई वॉन्ट नूडल्स आई वॉन्ट चिली चिकन बिकॉज सम ऑफ दे आर माई क्लाइंट्स ऑल्सो दे आर माई नोन ऑल्सो कि आई वॉन्ट अ प्रॉपर ले आउट आई वॉन्ट बाटर नान ऑल्सो आई वॉन्ट डेजर्ट ऑल्सो कि पहली बार आना स्टॉल होल्डर्स ने कुछ इट्स नॉट अ नॉर्मल एग्जीबिशन आंटीज वाला स्टफ नहीं है कुछ एक्सक्लूसिव एक्सक्लूसिव है सो वी वेंट लाइफ माई फैमिली फ्रेंड आस में इवेंट क्या मतलब आप शादी कराया करोगे बर्थडे पार्टी करा करोगे मैंने <laughs> नहीं नहीं ये इवेंट कुछ अलग तरीके के इवेंट है नॉर्मल आई वुड बी डूइंग पार्टीज चंडीगढ़ डेली होते थे इवेंट्स जलंधर आज तक कुछ हुआ है कल्चर ही नहीं आया था इवेंट वर्ड ही नहीं पता था कि वॉट इज इवेंट राइट सो वी स्टार्ट ऑफ विद द प्रमोशन इट वॉज द फर्स्ट पेज मतलब मेरे लिए भी I had a PUBG account, which my PUBG we used to yeah, play yeah. PUBG co. Right, right, right. So I changed that PUBG account into the anti account. Oh. Very few people know because few के साथ पुराने chats and DM में है. Hmm. So they were like, oh, ये ये account है. <laughs> because right. Instagram में नया बनाना that was a big hassle that time. Right. So, अब तो एक मिनट में account बन जाता है. Right. So I changed the PUBG account, deleted all, archived all the. पुराना पोस्ट हार्ड टेन फिफ्टीन फॉलोअर्स मैक्स अपने अपने ही थे पोस्टेड इट तो आई पोस्टेड दिस ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स जुलाई आई बिलीव द फर्स्ट वीडियो दैट एंड आई इवेंट कंपनी इज कमिंग एवन वी हैव इवेंट ऑन ट्वेंटी एथ स्टॉल होल्डर्स केम फ्रॉम लुधियाना वन स्टॉल होल्डर केम फ्रॉम बॉम्बे ऑल द वे आई अप्रोच टेम के आना ही आना है दिस अ पर्टिकुलर ब्रांड उस टाइम में हमें लगता था कि बहुत यार मतलब ये आ गया तो मतलब खत्म ही हो जाएगा कौन सा वॉट ब्रांड वॉज इट वॉज विंटेज स्टॉक हाउस ओके सो मतलब जलंधर में लगता था कि खतरनाक ब्रांड है एक डेली का स्नीकर रीसेलर था ही वॉज नाउ ही ऑल्सो ओन्स अ स्नीकर इवेंट कंपनी ओके सो ही ऑल्सो पोट अप स्टॉल विद मी फॉर द फर्स्ट इवेंट आई कॉल हिम ऑल्सो के Okay, now the big thing was we put an entry on the gate hmm. of rupees three hundred. Okay. Now three hundred is a very nominal. Right. वो इसलिए रखा so that crowd filtration हो. I didn't want our Punjabi main जो Punjabi you understand I don't want to be के वो अब चार पांच मुस्तंडे जिसको we call के आए और सारा vibe environment खराब कर दे because the crowd I invited मेरे मतलब फुल मतलब जिसको कहते हैं ना इमेज का वो था कि मतलब क्या हो फर्स्ट इवेंट था मतलब कुछ भी हे वायर होना ही नहीं चाहिए बहुत लोग देख रहे थे बहुत लोग देख रहे हैं मेरे सारे फैमिली फ्रेंड्स ने आना है मोम डाट के सारे सर्कल ने आना है इट वाज द फर्स्ट थिंग जो मैं अपने आप मैंने अपनी मेरी आइडेंटिटी बननी है पाँच वेन्यू वालों ने कहा फाइव बाउंस आई प्रोवाइड आई सेट आई कॉल फिफ्टीन मोर आई डोंट वॉन्ट एनी थिंग टू गो हे वायर के जो मर्जी हो जाए चाहे पचास लोग आए पर ओके द मेन डील एंट्री वॉट वॉज द एक्सपेक्टेड नंबर ऑफ पीपल अकॉर्डिंग टू यू अकॉर्डिंग टू मी स्टार्टिंग आई एक्सपेक्टेड वन फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड मैंने स्टॉल होल्डर से आई टुक फाइव फाइव थाउजेंड सबसे फाइव थाउजेंड द ब्रांड एट वो कमिंग टू यू पेड यू फॉर द स्पेस थर्टीन ब्रांच टोटल थे उसमें से मैंने छः से पैसे लिए थे छः से पैसे नहीं लिए थे तुम आ जाओ बस तो बस मेरे को करना है उससे टू थ्री टाइम्स तो वेन्यू वाला मेरे से ऑलरेडी ले चुका था क्योंकि उनका खाना भी देना था वहाँ पे वालों का सब राइट 
so people started coming you know, like why sh- why should we pay entry to this matlab hum exhibitions mein jaate hain hmm. isme so entry kis cheez ki hai hmm. so nas log aaye panch wapas chale gaye das aur aaye fir panch wapas chale gaye because this is not working matlab hmm. i sat at the gate maine jo mere friends the my friends were backing up with me sare mere friends the jo team core bani hui thi us din jisko kehte hain nas true I explained them कि जो चीज़ अंदर दिस इट्स वन एंड हाफ लैख शू टू लैख शू दिस इवन फाइव लैख का शू वट यू ओनली सी इन पिक्चर्स यू गेटिंग टू सी दैट इन लाइफ एंड यू कैन बाय दैट दैट इज़ वॉट द एंट्री इज़ फॉर इट्स नॉट अ नॉर्मल थिंग यू सी टू एवरी डे यू कैन गो इन टू नाइक स्टोर एंड टेल हाँ जी आई नीड दिस पेयर ऑफ जॉर्डन इट्स नॉट नॉट अवेलेबल इट्स नॉट अवेलेबल ऑल दिस इज अ वेरी very rare items and the brands which are there these are not available offline agree yeah as it drew hai essentials hai you can't buy online your sites paise nahi hai tab itni sites bhi nahi thi to mm. be very on the used to be stock x or goat international us pe bhi shipping dalti thi okay. 20% shipping main kaha usne tum 300 entry de rahe ho ye to normal mm. yahan se delhi tak ki shipping hai yeah right so we overall we had a turn off turn around of 700 people in wow. back there wow that's crazy <laughs> and sham tak it was totally packed stalls were sold out matlab crazy amazing so that, that day crazy. they realized ke jalandhar mein hai <laughs> matlab yeah. log hai mereko see i knew most of the people because i used to study in in my world bahut acha group tha crowd tha pj ke bhi jaante the college मतलब कॉलेज इट्स भी सारे सीनियर्स भी जानते थे आई यूज टू प्ले फुटबॉल स्पोर्ट्स करके भी बट आई न्यू गए आए हाँ मतलब मेरे को उस टाइम लगता था मेरे को सारा जलंधर आई नो ठीक है पर जिस दिन इवेंट हुआ hmm. उस दिन आई थॉट के नहीं आए तो जस्ट नो टेन फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ द पीपल दर आर जलंधर इज वेरी वेरी बिग वेरी वेरी बिग आई डोंट नो एनी वन ऐसे अन नोन फेसिस थे एन यंगस्टर्स टोटली The age group was from 15 to 30 max. 30 above तो सारे मेरे मोम डाट के फ्रेंड्स थे वो अलग बाहर वाले पेडलर्स के आउटसाइड एरिया नहीं है जो ओ हेलो मजाक कर रहे हैं तो वो तो सारे उधर बैठे हुए थे इधर तो पता नहीं चल रहा था कि क्या हो रहा है तो नहीं जैसे how did you market this event like that's what I'm like interested in in terms of like expecting 150 200 people and 800 turning up I'm sure it wasn't like just luck care I'm sure the product was amazing, but how did you get your product to people? Ke bhai, this is something that is happening. You should come. Totally through Instagram, I would say. Totally, totally through, through Instagram. WhatsApp marketing, I would also call it Instagram only. I'm going to put my status on my status. How many contacts would I have? Three, four hundred, five hundred max at that time. Up to I have more than twenty-five hundred people in my contact list. Up to. बहुत लिस्ट लव भी हो गई है बट दैट टाइम फोर फाइव हंड्रेड पीपल सो इंस्टाग्राम टेलिंग माई फ्रेंड्स टू शेयर इट राइट टेलिंग ऑल माई फैमिली फ्रेंड्स टू शेयर इट मॉम्स फ्रेंड्स शेयरिंग इट डाज फ्रेंड्स शेयरिंग इट डूइंग फ्लैक्सिस बट दोज वर ऑल्सो वेरी रेयर आउटसाइड द वेन्यू पेडलर्स राइट एंड आउटसाइड माई ओन रेस्टोरेंट ना दैट टाइम दैट टाइम द रेस्टोरेंट एंड ओपन टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट I don't know where we kept the flexes. Uh, yeah, Jain Bhai. Ah, so you nice. strategically went to places that yeah. had a lot of footfall. That that had a footfall of our age group. Mm. Right, right, right. Not that I put flexes everywhere. The particular we wanted the target audience to to only come. We didn't want any, any oldies any. to come. Right, that, it's it's a particular thing. Yeah, we wanted it to be a vibe. There's a right. DJ, all from twelve till eight. There's DJ. Right. It's not that we starting it late or something like that. Right. There's It's DJ full on like and drinking and games and shopping since twelve. Like everything together. As soon together. as the gate opens, hmm. the party has started. Yeah, it's like a full festival. Full festival. Pretty amazing. So, so Instagram has been a major, major help for the brand. Very interesting. So my question here is, um, so this is I think two years back. One and a half. One two, and a half years back. Two is gonna back. go in August. So, um, 
like what how was so i now see a lot of kids and a lot of people wearing a lot of sneakers and different kinds and like limited editions um how do you think the market was different then because that time not i feel like people have started wearing shoes yeah. because of you and your events yeah. Yeah. so since it was your first event how like difficult was it to get in people or like how was it uh, like abhi pata hai ki okay aapka event ho raha hai people are going to come yeah. and buy shoes and sale hoega but that time uh, logo ko agar shoes ke bare mein pata tha kya like nahin, was it nahin, nahin, nahin. that was a very different market at that time if i'm telling 800 people came so probably only 80 were wearing sneakers okay and probably 180 would be knowing about sneakers right okay at that time people didn't wear street wear okay the major change right now and then is i had only four street wear brands and rest everyone was selling shoes right in today's time i only have two to three resellers on my event and more than 20 are street wear brands that's right because a person can only afford i would not say afford he he would not want to buy more than let's say 2 3 4 jordans at max hmm. different color ways you say this matches makes with sense. this and this makes sense yeah but he wants the t-shirt to be new every time hmm, nice. i am wearing this at a party i don't want this to be wearing at my next party so more clothing brands more streetwear brands have evolved more denims more cargos that culture has evolved more than sneakers now everyone in today's time everyone is wearing one pair of sneakers that's everyone right. is having one pair of sneakers that's done it's everyone done. has one in its wardrobe and they're done with it they don't want any more unless and until it's a very very new thing or it's a very different collaboration or something right. like that everyone is spending on clothes now clothes it's it's a basic like girls spend on dresses so t-shirt has become the new dress dress, dress. right so everyone wants at that time out of 750 800 people 600 came for enjoying ah like party party party, party, yeah. Yeah. party yeah. kuch different matlab <laughs> jalandhar mein first time, time kuch ho raha hai sare gaye mein chandigarh they have been to events mm. delhi right. they have been to events par akele akele mm. not with their personal mm, set, set of, of friends, friends or the whole jalandhar community udhar right. event pe kya hua everyone has been calling aaja ye bhi hai <laughs> ye bhi hai <laughs> aajo right people started sharing snaps on instagram it was a total different thing for us we did sneaker bidding also oh okay so how does that work so i I'm I'm very staged thing. I don't like to be on a stage. I don't like to be a front face of it. I don't usually go up on the stage on my events also parties mm. also. It's very rare that I go up. So वो अंदर से confidence आया उस दिन अब 500 600 लोग खड़े हैं अब sneaker bidding करानी है. So sneaker bidding is I take up a shoe in my hand. and it's a bid like we do for artworks and oh, uh, okay. So Cheek the hai. starting price is eight thousand. the whole audience is there this is uk 8 9 10 whatever it was in my and i don't even remember mm. now so okay you start bidding and it started at eight and we sold it at 14 or 15 i guess so it was a different vibe everyone was in ke pata wow. nahi aaj kya hoga kya hoga wah wow. nice so since the bidding was happening inside and the parents were outside did they come and see it and did they see ki i'll be very honest my okay. mom was on video call only acha kabhi mere mamu the kabhi meri nani thi kabhi koi maasi thi kyunki unhe bhi nahi samajh aa raha tha ki aaj ho kya raha hai kya ho gaya ki matlab see it was the first big thing for them also being the right. child pulled off itne sare log that is mere dad aaj ki date mein bhi kehte hain शादी व्याह पे भी इतने लोग बुलाओ ना hmm. तो भी नहीं आते जितने इवेंट पे आते हैं तो बहुत बढ़िया है जो कर रहा है ठीक है तो मतलब पहले कहते थे कि जूते बूते में <laughs> सब छोड़ दो बट सी दे आर इन दैट एज उनको कल्चर अब जो कल्चर अभी चल रहा है वो मेरे को पता है अब मैं हाउ डू आई एक्सप्लेन दैम दैट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट एंड देम लिसनिंग हाँ जी तीन लाख रुपये का भी जूता बिक रहा है 
कैट्स बिक रहे हैं कैट्स बिक रहे हैं नाइकी के कैट्स बिक रहे हैं उनके उनके टाइम पे तो 300 का पेयर होता था सो मतलब वो बहुत डिफरेंट सो एट दैट टाइम एवरी वन वॉज ऑन दर वीडियो कॉल्स ओनली ऑल पीपल एवरी वन वॉर जस्ट स्नैपिंग वी डिड बियर पोंग ऑल्सो ओके सो स्नीकर पोंग वॉज दर सो स्नीकर पोंग इज लाइक बियर पोंग ओनली बट विदाउट एल्कोहल फॉर द यंग वन Ah, so I that, don't ask you like so you know. because even they want to play unko mm-hmm. fascinate the about i am a non non drinker so mere ko beer pong bahut fascinate karta but i can't play kyunki main pee nahi sakta mm-hmm. uh, we, we should have some things for the, the non drinkers drinkers also so very cool yeah so uh, something that came into my mind and i think i brought this up pehle bhi so you basically are the person who got this culture in jalandhar and in punjab but i see you don't wear street wear at all <laughs> why is that <laughs> see i have a very lean body and huh. everything so when i wear that khuli khuli t-shirt <laughs> <laughs> so i feel more weak and uh or basically i would say i don't know how to take that as a trend to be very honest i don't feel very comfortable wearing it i've been into very formals or mm. let's say slim fits and everything so i don't like that baggy fit or oversized and it's it's not my type to be very honest like all my me. brands all my stall holders everyone keeps on telling me giving you this shirt huh. wear this for the <laughs> event only huh. yeah do our promotion and everything so sometimes i do i wear it for half an hour hmm. i pack it up i wear back what <laughs> what i was wearing earlier because i don't feel comfortable only Very cool. everyone see that's that's why the world is working everyone is built differently if everyone would be having the same mindset not right. all businesses would work not all brands would work makes sense yeah there's lifestyle brand there's proper street fashion Absolutely. the casual the formal brand so everyone has their own type and the their way of doing stuff if right. everyone would be the same yeah then the world won't work like peep the world works right uh, and through uh, walks left yeah. yeah very similarly um, if you haven't noticed like mm. he organizes parties mm. uh, really late night events mm. where people are getting wasted drinking uh, and yeah like having a lot of fun but you're completely the opposite like people are raging and you're calm no, e- even i am raging you're but raging. uh on my own let's say own you're reading your numbers you're yeah. reading your numbers <laughs> buddy <laughs> that's like that <laughs> that's the true true what yeah that's like cuz like it's like right. i've seen like i've like i I've, I've met you at your event and i've like never seen you with a drink never like uh, under any form of intoxication you're very sober you know what's happening um and it's completely opposite from what your work is hmm. so it's uh, it's it's see 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 if if i i start drinking yeah i start enjoying with the people i'm throwing the event for so who's going to handle the event true that's true i think i i never enjoy on my own events hmm. i just have one cold coffee in the morning hmm. and the dinner i am having is whenever the even gets over it's 4 5 whatever it is the whole day i am on totally diet like let's say you have nothing i have day. nothing throughout Why the day that? see till 4 it's it's a very like tension atmosphere Crucial. around people are not coming because of the sun heat everything we have people coming but that the number is let's say from 12 to 4:30 it's around max to max 200 to 50 people who are the most enthu hmm. youth right stock doesn't get sold out i want that particular t-shirt we right. want that hmm. so that's the main crucial us after 4:30 we don't have time to eat then it's a party too many people coming too many then people. too many people coming let's suppose on our event only on our venue we had 14 1500 people in one day till 430 only 250 people are coming and rest 1250 is coming till 11 or 12 right so that is 
a lot to take i have to get the band also we have to take a note of every entry also things don't go haywire also right absolutely we have to manage the security nothing no one is drinking over the bar also right. see if it's a total party event which starts at 7 mm-hmm. then the protocols and the guidelines are different, different. for the event True. right when there there's a day event the guidelines are different Absolutely, and I also feel like nobody should drink at work. <laughs> agreed, agreed. Yeah, but calling people at a party is much easier than Then calling them throughout the day. It's mm. it's, it's hard. It's it's very difficult. Day events are hard. Day events are much tougher. See, it's in a in a night party. I put in an artist. Hmm. Fifty percent of the thing is not. they are coming on his name not my company nor nothing not my circle not promotion nothing they're coming for the artist they are coming for the artist if it's not an artist space then we have to really push and really pull up our socks we have to market a month earlier only one month you think is necessary so dhruv like you do the sneaker events what would be the average cost of doing an event like this the major cost to be very honest is oh, you guys are uh, venue people so <laughs> i don't no i mean the, we, let's be the major ex- cost the venue takes the part the major major figures let's say if there's a total budget of let's say 5 hmm. so 50% person to venue is only taking so that's a lot to keep so you're saying so the rest we have sound setups hmm. we have hangar stands we have tables we have decors we have security we have printing right. we have accommodation we have travel expenses there are a lot the there no, the list is endless the, the list is endless i'll show you the list on whatsapp if i show you it's like we the checklist is like this Right. This done. This done. Instagram promotions, licenses, sound licenses, liquor license. The there's n number of things which we do. So everything, but uh, you're saying an average of five would cover all costs for an average event. For a sneaker event, I would say three, three and a half. Three, three and a half. It can be done. It can be a good event. A good event without an artist. Without an artist. Without an artist. And but but yeah, it's see. nowadays there are a lot of people coming doing sneaker events but they're not doing it with the sole aim of profitability they like, they they're doing just for the heck of sake they're like even karenge log kahenge sheher mein event kara inhone naam hoega fame they're just doing it for the fame fame and events is a total different, different. concept you should set if okay if i'm doing for fame then there's no budget for it i there's i can send, spend 10 also i can spend 15 also but if you're doing for the sole purpose of profitability hmm. making for which the huh. business is there right so you have to s- fix your budgets you have to fix your max deadline your budget that this is the max after this i'm not going to get a break even you have to set your break even that's the First right. key is break even. Hmm. If I'm break evening at five hundred people, hmm, hmm, hmm. that's a lot. That's a lot. It's not an easy task. True. But you have to take a risk also. So, so if I let's say put in three and a half to five lakh in an event, what would be like? What should I expect in terms of returns to make? So you know, just to have in mind, okay, okay, now this was a successful event in terms of profitability. See if you put one x, so I think you should get one and a half two x out of it. So fifty percent to hundred percent is what you're looking to recover. A recover. And that, this is that, revenue or this is profit? Uh, sometimes it's more than profit. Sometimes it's just revenue. It it totally depends place to place. Right. See, pan, uh, I did in Gujarat also. It's a dry state. Right. So there's no liquor there. How was that? So. See the, the the major catch is there's no liquor there, so you don't get the liquor sales out of it. So sometimes it's revenue, sometimes it's profit. Pretty interesting, man. Pretty interesting. Calling people in Punjab is way too much easy than calling people in Gujarat. That's what I wanted to ask you. Like, like you, 
you've done events in Gujarat, you're doing, you've done an event in Jaipur, you're doing another one. How is Punjab as a market for these kinds of events? I would say, I would recommend Punjab is the best market for uh, even like a full day event. Hmm. Right. Parties are a bit hectic. And in that sense, I would say to manage the crowd. Hmm. Touch wood, we didn't have any fights or any controversies till now. To be very honest, you've done more than 30 events. There's, there's been nothing because we, we sp- our, our budget on security is way much. It's two, three times what the normal companies do. Right. Because we, we, we believe in making a brand, not just doing a heck sake of it. That event ho gaya, aise aage. Agla karna hai nahi. We, we are here for the long term. We're not here for six months, seven months, eight months. It's, uh, that's not our sole purpose. So it's it's Punjab is the I would say the biggest market. Jaipur is also very nice okay. because Jaipur has the royal families and right. the, the everyone is owning a fort and the land and everything. Jaipur is also a very nice market. We did 1,200 people in Jaipur. Okay. That's amazing. The previous event in January. Hmm. Uh, 1200 people was a very good uh, that's pretty cool that's the first event you did in Jaipur yeah the 1200 first in people 1200 people came we had more than 15 1600 shares on the Instagram post we boosted hmm. wow. so that was a lot so basically we get to know the trend from the Inst- Instagram, Instagram post posts. that right. what what's it gonna be like how would the event turn up like it's we have done 15 events so far hmm for this particular goat, greatest of all time. So we know now that what's gonna happen and how it's gonna be. Very cool. It's been like practice makes you perfect. Now we know that it's so share So you can analyze, analyze sort of kya now. Hoega. Makes sense. I, by the way, uh, would like to tell you that lots of people in your last uh, event here in Zoka, not in Feb, but the one, the uh, the one in August oh, okay. for your anniversary, uh, a lot of people, uh, like a lot, my, a lot of my cousins were like, uh, two of my cousins actually, and their friends were like, oh, we missed out on a great event because one of them was here and mm. she was sharing stories yeah. of the event, and they were like, oh, next time we have to be here. Like we we believe it was really nice so i did so, a poll recently right that where should we go next after ramdavad after my Ahmedabad even so there was options there was jalandhar there was jaipur and there was ludhiana so basic we got around 350 to 400 dms oh. please do it in jalandhar he's Seriously? waiting for it oh, wow so people actually wait for it there are a lot of people who are doing in Jalanda street where events only. Right, right. But it's the thing I said, it's not doing an event event. You have to create something so that people wait for it. People enjoy the crowd. Basically, everything is about the crowd. Crowd. It's a community, like it's you a, said. It's a crowd. Hmm. There is A plus, A, B, C, D. All types of crowd in a city. You should know what you're catering. A venue goes from A plus to A to B to C to D and it shut down. Hmm. Because it starts taking dhire 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 dhire. Okay, no matter. We are concerned about the sales. It's okay. Right, right. But it's not that. The main focus should be on the crowd. Your target audience. Target, target audience. audience. It's not about you should have those brands on board which are something hmm. in themselves. Right. You should Absolutely. have startups also. I, I personally push startups that, yeah, nice. you should come. But it's not that I am having 35 to 40 brands. So 30 are startups. Right. That's not how it works. Mm. People are not paying an entry for seeing startups. Mm. They're paying for a particular brand they want to purchase it from. They're coming for that brand. Maybe they'll buy it from yeah. the startup right. as well. Right. That's the whole story. When they're not coming for a particular startup, they might, a f- friend of mine has started a startup. Mm. So we might go, we 15, 20, 25, 30 people would go for that particular brand. But if you're talking in masses, 1000 people, 1200 people, mm. right. they will, ov- obviously everyone wants to wear something which is known mm. and is a brand by itself. 
obviously it takes a startup to also become a brand yeah Okay. He's gonna start from somewhere. Even right. he started from first event. Mm-hmm. Right. There's right. always a start to everything, but slowly and gradually things work. Makes sense. I think it also will benefit benefit the startup more if it's like we out of forty or just five. Absolutely. Then absolutely. Then he, rather he, more chances. He'll, he'll get to know what what the basically brands are doing. Yeah. It's education, basically. So Everybody's guess. learning from. You'll see the marketing skills of the established brands when they're selling like this. Mm. They don't offer discounts. Acha. Oh, we are offering discount. We need to stop that. If you want to build a brand, there's no discount and everything. Absolutely. If you're a brand, there's no discount. You have a particular price. You That's have a particular it. module. Customers, consumers are willing they're, to they're, pay. They're, they're very smart nowadays. They say. Next one is giving hmm. for two thousand. Hmm. For you have twenty five hundred, I'll pay twenty two hundred. Hmm. Hmm. It's up to you if you wanna make that twenty two hundred or if you wanna make a brand. It's totally your call. Nice. So no discounts. No, no discounts. discounts. Nice. You can put up an offer. Hmm. You can put up a you you purchase for ten thousand and you get a stuff for eleven thousand. That's a marketing strategy. Hmm. Right. <coughs> That's not a discount. Yeah. True. You get people to get to that number. You and then you pu- you something. purchase for ten thousand, you get stuff for eleven. That's a marketing thing. But when you put, okay, twenty five hundred, I'll give for twenty two hundred. There, there where it lacks. Agreed, agreed, agreed. So what is like the average sale for like I'm saying, the whole uh, all the brands combined? What what uh, sales are they looking at? I would say every brand makes a good profit. I would not pointing to say the exact numbers, numbers. Numbers. No, I'm saying like overall. We have many like departments, <laughs> <laughs> which might <laughs> agreed, yes. agreed. get What? offended, get hurt. Get no, not get, get hurt, hurt, but scrutinized. Yeah, oh, scrutinized. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's <laughs> not okay. it's not a problem for me, hmm. but right, it's a but problem for, for the, the brands. Others. Yeah, agreed. makes sense. Agreed. Makes uh, sense. We we doing everything on our part. Right, makes so sense. So there's no GST. Above, uh, there's no GST below five hundred. Hmm. So we tend to keep that that we don't exceed five hundred. We keep four ninety nine. Very interesting. If we keep five hundred plus, other department comes in. If we keep that, other department comes in. So we go according to the rules and regulations only, but smartly. Smartly. Makes sense. You have Makes to keep sense. everyone happy. It's so not that. Agreed, yeah. Big cool. Big cool. So I actually have a question hmm. regarding events. Uh, th- I'm sure you go to other events, right? I make it a point to go to other events. So <laughs> because so I'm <laughs> not enjoying on my events. Yeah. Yeah. So similarly, like I feel like when there's there's something that we do, like if there's like a little, we do like these little Bollywood nights or like a uh, Zoka hmm. weekend night, which is very very limited people. Uh, but like there are there hundred percent chances that we don't enjoy in them. Even like. uh at a bigger event where where we are collaborating with other people um like yourself like it's not it's work for us it's not fun like we feel i feel very stressed so True. the moment like the event starts then i was like mera to koi kaam nahi hai main andar ja rahi hu like i f- i start hyperventilating i was like i can't see this because it's stressful um but i definitely go to other events events is not something that um, i know too much about but um like when we go to other cafes restaurants hotels like there are lots of uh, things that i look into depth and scrutinize uh <laughs> like observe i would rather say not scrutinize i think that's not a nice word observe do you do the same and do you do you like realize that oh these things are going great and these things are actually not see going the, great see see being into <laughs> the even business hmm. whoever is into it the first thing he he starts calculating it's in the even business it's not this person this person this person hmm. as soon as i enter the other even hmm. obviously we do even every one does even so ever right. does he knows what's the things behind what's the actual cost for this 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 he starts calculating on his own <laughs> there's just a period of half an hour okay so maximum half an hour you get the whole calculation down these are 500 people there's a thousand people this is going to be the Like I said, this is gonna be the gate. This is gonna be the expense. Okay, in short terms, he earned this. After half an hour, then we can enjoy. 
<laughs> so that's so, the basic so that's first the basic. half an hour you're analyzing first half an hour every every it's not every me. Every, every event organizer is, is a- analyzing. analyzing only and only okay. okay that that's that's basic if if i if i am a restaurant owner i step into a restaurant obviously i see uh, okay he's got five tables yeah yeah that would be is the roughly sale this is the monthly this is right right this is the food cost this is, so it's the same in every business if i am a factory owner i go to a factory i see these many people working these are the number of right. machinery it's the same in every even yeah, are right. most focused because we can see them easily yeah. right. we can see 300 right. banda aaya गेट पे इसने ये मेरे से पैसे लिए ये ये हो गया इतने की ड्रिंक बेच रहा है इतनी रफली हुई तो उसकी कैलकुलेशन बहुत शॉर्ट टर्म है करेक्ट करेक्ट आई एक्चुअली वाज आल्सो टॉकिंग इन डेप्थ अबाउट एनालाइजिंग लाइक इवेंट ऐसे किया ये ऐसे दिख रहा है ये ऐसे यहां पे साफ नहीं है अच्छा वो वो भी होता है वो होता है पर वो टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट नाइट इवेंट्स में no one cares what it is <laughs> to be very honest right. no one cares hamare yahan pe sare events mein khana hi thanda milta hai hmm kyunki sabko they itna busy hai apne usme peene mein ki khana garam de do thanda de do eventually thanda hi hona khana to kisi ne hai hi nahi agreed wo to khana unhone jab event khatam ho gaya sirf they have what have is french fries or pizzas right that's it Right. That's that's the reason we always keep just finger food on finger our event because we just don't want to eat. Nah, itna khana so bana diya. Order hi nahi karta koi. Unka main focus hi hai even ke baad 24/7 chale jayenge. <laughs> Wahan se McDonald's chal jayenge hai ye. They will have food there. So food is a mm-hmm. bit constrained here. Mm-hmm. No one is fond of food. I'm a very big foodie. I go specially hey, by either other. Malab. जम्मू में कितनी देर पहले से so hum we three go matlab once in a year specially Achha. that tikkas and tawas wow. and everything nice we must go to this i'm hungry now yeah same <laughs> so dhruv <laughs> i even i can eat also <laughs> i fit <laughs> <laughs> football dhruv 800 people 1200 people 1400 people and i'm sure it's this is going to increase how do you stay calm in situations where there are so many people, people. looking at you and like scrutinizing you and like observing you the the main main deal here is people calling you up at the entry even there are 200 people i would get a 100 calls out of them right entry by then okay. free entry karwa de free ka bhi nahi hota bataun kya hai sab ki ek wo hai apne yahan pe ek ego hai hmm kyun meri entry usne खुद आके कराई मैं पैसे भी ले लूं सी यू नो एवरीवन इन जलंधर नो वन इज शॉर्ट कोई हमारे यहाँ पे कंजूस नहीं है यू गोडो लुधियाना यू गोडो अमृतसर वहाँ पे लोग हैं इज इट हाँ थोड़ा सा जलंधर में कंजूस नहीं है कोई टू बी वेरी ऑनेस पीपल आर दे कैर डैम दे वो स्पेंड है सबके पास एंट्री फाइव हंड्रेड टू थाउजेंड भी होती है थ्री थाउजेंड भी होती है नाइट इवन में फाइव थाउजेंड भी होती है उनको मेरे को फ़ोन करा है कि वी आई पी वाला बैंड दिलवाना है अच्छा कि मतलब फ़ोन पर बात कर ले कुछ कर ले मतलब दैट इज़ द मेन वो राइट इट्स नॉट अबाउट फ्री एंट्री हो जाएगी या वो हो जाएगा बट दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड इफ आई कम टू द गेट इट्स नॉट पर्टिकुलर दे आर नॉट द ओनली वन स्टैंडिंग दैर there are 50 60, 60 100 people, people or more standing right. i can't make one person happy and 50 unhappy right that's the Bilkul. that's the main thing i the i most can't. stressful part jalandhar mein is the jalandhar is the only place i don't sit at the gate you know everybody i know, you know everyone mai kya matlab i can't do anything so that is the most stressful part of the event jalandhar mein to matlab hmm That is the most tedious and hectic. Phone आता ही रहेगा. Right. उठाओ ना भी उठाओ तो भी problem है. 
तो आप तो मैं सबको ही कह देता हूँ मेरा फ़ोन तो सबको पता भी है कि इट्स बिन माई मॉम मैं I can't, can't look after 14 1500 people absolutely absolutely do you think it's very different when you are uh, like are you kama when events are not in jalandhar yeah. and um, my gate pe khud baitha acha team hai saath mein but i'm there if anything if anyone wants a clarification why is is there a entry in other cities i explain them myself what the event is about and see jiska business hota hai na hmm. अल्टीमेटली ही इज़ द वन जिसको सबसे ज़्यादा वो है ज़रूरत भी है या वट एवर यू कॉल इट्स पैशनेट अबाउट मतलब वॉट यू टेल अबाउट जोका इज नॉट अ मैनेजर ही सैलरी वुड भी फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ऑल्सो ही कान ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन वॉट वट्स इन साइड ट्रू सो वेन आई एम एट द गेट पर्सनली आई कैन टेल वॉट इट इज राइट माई टीम मेम्बर्स ऑल्सो टेल इट बट दे नॉट I don't feel the energy in them that passion. That passion, so that the other person would want to come inside. Totally. Right, right. Obviously, they're landing at the venue. They come for the event only. Mm. Yeah. But still, there's a eighty twenty percent chance that he would say, "Uh, no, entry, a little bit more looks like. Five hundred is too much to pay. Three hundred, kar do. Four hundred, kar do." I mean, other cities they bargain. People bargain. Okay. That's not. That's not. Okay. That's not. But we say five hundred is a bare minimum nominal if you can't spend 500 outside you won't spend 5000 inside that's for sure you mm. won't buy a 5000 or a 50000 shoe if you are that is why there's a entry Absolutely. we want 500 people but that 500 should spend according to 1000 1500 people right Absolutely. we don't want 2000 people inside 200 rupees entry mein and there's not even a single sale you know we don't work like that filtration you said filtration, filtration. Absolutely. Full filtration absolutely we want that person who is willing to buy inside who's willing to go inside and shop for 50000 makes sense very very clear very very uh, like you know your audience you, you know, know who wants <coughs> you want uh, yeah. these people to be at the event and it's pretty clear and i think it's amazing and calm you can't stay mm. calm at the events you can't you but can't. you look very calm i oh, look calm i look calm like because like see if it's organized see uh, people what people do if let's talk about bands only hmm. printer se bands aaye hmm. let's if i order 2000 bands hmm. <coughs> they'll keep the whole box with themselves at the gate ek ek kar ke aise सामने आपके दे वो टेन का पैक होता है यू नो वो फाड़ेंगे ऐसे नहीं होते इवेंट्स वी मेक अ प्रॉपर सीरियल नंबर बंडल्स दिस इज फर्स्ट बंडल फॉर हंड्रेड दिस इज टू हंड्रेड का बंडल दिस इज थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन प्रॉपर नंबरिंग होती है प्रॉपर टिकट लिस्ट बनती है हाँ जी हंड्रेड हो गया टेक दिस इज वी का बंडल दिस इज डिफरेंट दिस इज फॉर द ब्रांड्स दिस इज जो दे आर एफ ओ सी जिनका कोई काउंट नहीं है उनके भी बैंड अलग है सो दैट वी नो द टोटल नंबर ऑफ पीपल वहाँ पे गेट पे मेरे सामने सौ बंदा है मैं फाड़ नहीं सकता एक एक करके करेक्ट बिल्कुल बिल्कुल मैं अब देखूंगा जी अब वी आई पी आ गया उसमें वो वाले बॉक्स में से निकालना नो यू शुड है कोर स्टिल यू कॉन्ट बी काम बड़ी सारी चीजें होती है बट You stay calm with your team. Back end way till the event is over, you are in a total hustle bustle. You are in stress. <coughs> Anything can go haywire. Right. Anyone can drunk. Anyone can fight. At any point of time, even on a normal shoulder push. Hmm. So you stay organized to not be stressed out. Right. Yes. Everything has to be in order before an event. Very good. So I think I agree with that. um something i wanted to ask you which is like it's an itch on my back how did and why did anti like what is the meaning of anti how did it get conceptualized okay so i've been really fond of ants since childhood like i see ants everywhere is it since we shifted we shifted to three homes from model town to deco and so uh, दे बाई चांस डोंट लीव मी मतलब मेरा पीछा ही नहीं छोड़ती है मतलब डी डी टी पाउडर डालो जो कर लो मतलब कहीं ना कहीं से एंट हो जाओ द बिग ब्लैक एंड इट्स अराउंड मी सिंस माई चाइल्ड हुड ओनली 
so uh, i was reading about ants that so it's like uh, you can't finish ants ever oh so they are very hard working they can lift thrice or four times their yeah, weight yeah, yeah. true man invented ddt to kill them still they are alive they evolve so fast so fast that they adapt to the nature very quickly you can't change it right so first ant comes from there right and the eye which has is horus eye the eye of ra god of egyptian god so it's it it's a very significant role in egyptian mythology and the the significance of it it's very high in egyptian world and the abroad you can say egyptian eye the eye of ra horus so really cool. anti view is from grass to sky there's no limit to it wow so the word is derived from ant i ant i very deep yeah very cool yeah i didn't know you put that much thought, thought. into this yeah. well, like i mean betha va soche hona ant i i i wanted it to be ant that was for sure but normal ant was not up to the mark then we thought and thought and thought so on that it comes did you come I. up with the i as yeah, well yes yes ant i and it's very different and it's very unique it's, yeah. it's, it's very catchy it's as very well and i yeah. very nice so uh, i remember like we were talking about this i s- sent you the questionnaire as well and you were saying that you do puzzles legos and puzzles yeah like can you explain how that works so for you lego has been my stress buster since childhood like before my exams march we used to have exams right. so feb i used to buy around 10 legos Hmm. and i uh, mom used to keep it and give me one after every exam and two three before the exams so as soon as i finish exam around let's say 12 30 one hmm. i am coming home if the exam is next day also i am making lego for 5 6 hours i complete the whole lego in few hours that's it so i've been to lego land two three lego lands also acha lego is matlab i have all categories beated city marvel constructors i have around 80 to 90 legos with me so they're still there in my right. cupboard earlier i had a showcase cupboard in my old home now i have kept it inside and it looks a little childish <laughs> <laughs> do you use it before your uh, events no do you no, still no i uh, last lego i made was let's say, six six seven months ago okay but uh, i am doing puzzles now okay. jigsaw puzzles mm-hmm. that i have been doing 1000 pieces 1500 pieces world maps that i've started lately because that that's a thing you just keep it on a cardboard you do whenever you're free right so do you do you, would you say they <coughs> help you like concentrate and like basically when you're just thinking about the puzzle you just get out of the normal yeah, thinking it's a, it's a stress buster to be very honest I'm very fond of it. Like mm-hmm. if I see a puzzle or a Lego, uh, 99% I'll buy it. Okay. It's a uh, It's very cool. Thing. So, I think it's like I was going to ask you have you ever meditated? Never. Never. But this is a kind of meditation, right? Yeah. It's it's a my sort of meditation. Yeah, I mean meditation. I mean meditation doesn't really have to be oh, you have to <coughs> sit and shut your eyes yeah. or like You in meditation I think you have to concentrate on, on one thing yeah. and this is exactly what you're see, doing if here if there's a jigsaw puzzle see uh, last few weeks uh, I was doing a sky thing there's a sky and there's two angels cupids I think mm. around so it's blue white and black mm. there's this three colors and it's mm. of 1500 pieces and it's like I'm fixing one piece at a time so you can imagine the level of concentration and doing it and patience and, yeah. patience and patience like usually like i feel like people would get stressed looking at so many so pieces many, yeah. and to get them together um, people would get really stressed ki are isko bhi matlab this is so kaise, messy kaise banega kaise kaise banega but i feel like he finds uh, so see yeah, i like have this much this big table, a table huh. and i have put a cardboard on it Right. not a cardboard i'll say the uh, sandboards i use for my events ah. right 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 so right, right. they come into puzzles after that <laughs> i keep them the a4 a3 ones yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, three by four ones two by three ones and i then build on it and then i take it everywhere with me i put the jigsaw puzzles shade organize it 
these are white these are small all as said three four boxes me and, I, and if i want to do it on the table i do it on the table i put it up i want to do on my bed i put it on the bed and do it keep doing it yeah i keep doing it you do this every day and i get time when you get if koi particular time nahi rule nahi very nice sir very interesting very interesting but like it sort of brings us yeah center it gets us concentration to one place up. very cool very cool no wonder i thought kuch na kuch to banda karta hoga <laughs> this helps you a lot right mm. i think i should start doing puzzles as well i think it's a good idea but vera for me you are a puzzle oh. i'm yet trying to solve <laughs> <laughs> marriage is a puzzle <laughs> <laughs> marriage is isko, a puzzle isko isko kaat dena nahi i'm joking isko bilkul nahi kaatna bhai it is it is <laughs> damn it was this was fun bro this was fun i mean i honestly Every time somebody sits on that seat, I feel I know that person. Was we've been doing this for a for like know, th- whatever many episodes, episodes but usually it's people that we know for now. And it's like yeah, ये मुझे पता है like I have a image uh-huh. of like a क्या करता होगा है ना already एक वो बना हुआ है आगे बताओ चलो ये young है बाईस साल का है must be doing this this is how he probably looks at the world but whenever that person says it's so it's so deep like it's like oh acha okay. like there's a know, lot mm-hmm. there's, there's a lot. lot and i feel like every every person who is independent and successful has some kind of a mechanism working behind them absolutely right? absolutely they can find out fi- like he does puzzles for concentration he is he does numbers very well so kuch na kuch hota hai like and i think right. that is what you have to kind of discover what am i good at and you keep you know maximizing your strengths yeah. and i think uh, that's it to the moon to the moon right to the moon i mean sky i is the limit. sky is the limit <laughs> and i yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, it has been wonderful talking to you dhruv thank you so much for coming here and i have actually many more questions but i think we're running out of time because uh, nitesh paji is like he's like men said that okay we're running out of time but yeah it has been fun and guys if you are once again watching this episode please subscribe like hit the bell icon uh cuz this really motivates us we really try to bring information and knowledge of from people who are already doing great things in life so please subscribe mm-hmm. and for you dhruv i wish that goat uh becomes goat 100 someday <laughs> wherever Centuries. this yeah, yeah goat 100 wherever it is uh i will be there we'll we'll keep yeah, the 100 we'll for jalandhar only we we'll do all the <laughs> major ones the in jalandhar we did 5 10 now we going to do 20 in jalandhar in 20 jalandhar so we we keep the major ones for jalandhar so only. wherever 100 is we'll be there and don't worry only. about the subscribers <laughs> we'll be sharing it from anta as well so we we got a major boost the ladin bra wonderful i personally would like to add a little bit here yeah. which is basically that um, like you said mm. on uh, we learned so much from uh, dhruv and i think the idea is for uh, people like you to like empower ad- other people because i feel like uh, um, i feel like lots of people i think lack the courage to take that first step uh, and maybe don't believe in themselves that oh they should take this leap but i feel like people like young people like you are really inspiring so many and you've seen it yeah. you know it yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that so many people are doing similar things uh, so thank you for uh, really creating value in this community mm-hmm. and to this city uh, i think uh, you're doing a wonderful job uh, and keep killing it through mm-hmm. it was you, lovely having you, you here Thank you so so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>